हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एब्सोल्यूटली ऑसम डे डे 50 ऑफ द 100 डेज ऑफ हेल विद पाइथन एल्गो ट्रेडिंग टुडे आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू अनाउंस दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड 50 परसेंट ऑफ आर माइलस्टोन एंड दैट इज नॉट ओनली जस्ट द 50 डेज माइलस्टोन दैट इज अ टेस्टामेंट ऑफ आर कंसिस्टेंसी दैट इज अ माइल स्टोन फॉर द डेडिकेशन वी आर पुटिंग इन दिस वर्क so again thank you so much for this huge support each one of your like comment share subscribe gives us the strength to work harder and harder each and every day so with that being said let's start today's topic today we'll learn about the types of options and we'll also learn about the in the money at the money and out of the money and i request you please attempt the multiple choice questions these questions will really help you a lot in clearing your concepts to gain more clarity right so without a further ado let's get started so in previous session we have learned about the types of options the primary types that is the call option and the put options in detail now we have another types of options that is american option and european option so let me write it option we have american option and we have european options now what is the difference between american and european so the difference between american and european option is very slight very small difference and the difference is american options can be exercised any time before the expiration while european options can be only exercised on the expiration date simple and we have learned about the uh, exercise right okay so let's take an example of american option So let's say you bought an American call option for Amazon at two hundred dollars, and the expiry period of that call option is thirty days. And due to a sudden spike in the prices, even before the two weeks of the expiry, let's say after two weeks, and if you want, then you can exercise that option even before the expiry because you want to take the advantage of that early spike in the prices. Means in American option, you can exercise that option any time before the expiry. American means any time. Then we have the European option. Let's say you bought a European put option on the Euro USD currency pair. Then you have to wait for the expiry period. Let's say in this case it is thirty days. So you have to wait for the thirty days to exercise that put option. So that is a simple uh, explanation. Uh, American means any time and European means expiry. Simple A is any time and E is expiry. So when we talk about India, we trade European options. and the obvious reasons everyone knows why we trade european options and when we talk about singapore uh, it depends here primarily is american options but european options can also be exercised it depends so you have to uh, check with your broker and then you can make sure of that so now we have discussed the two types of types of options the first is call option and put option the second types are the american and european and the third types are in the money at the money and out of the money so let's understand this concept this is really very very important please focus for a few minutes and it will be absolutely clear for you so these types are in the money that is also known as itm then at the money that is known as atm and out of the money otm so let's first discuss about the call option for example you bought a call option so what is the in the money in terms of call option so let's say the current price of apple is 200 and you bought the call option at 180 180 so let's say this is the current price and the strike price is 180 at which you bought and if you immediately execute the order then you will be in the benefit of 20 dollars let's remove the premium for, for now just understand So whenever when you have the positive cash flow, if you exercise the call option immediately, then you will be in the money. So if current price is two hundred and all the options below two hundred are in the money, because you will be in the positive cash flow if you immediately execute the order. Now for at the money, you know that the current price is two hundred and you buy the option at two hundred. That is the at the money. And what is out of the money? The current market price is two hundred. Let's say. and the strike price is 250 so if you buy this option at 250 then 
the market has to come up $50 to give you profit. And that is known as the out of the money. Hope it's crystal clear. There should be no iota of the doubt. If you have any doubt, please let me know. We can discuss this again. Now, let's understand the same terms again for the put option. So let's say we have the put option and the PE and CE known as the call option and put option. Let's say the current price is 200. And if you are bearish on Apple, then what you will do, you will try to buy any option above 200. Let's say if you buy at 250, the strike price, right? And the current price is 200 means if you immediately excise the order, you will be in benefit of $50 and you will be having a positive cash flow of the $50. And that is known as the in the money for the put option. That's the simplest definition. Similarly, when we talk about the add the money means the current price is 200 and the strike price is also 200. And when we talk about the out of the money for the put option, let's say the current price is 180, the strike price means the current price is 200 and the strike price is 180 means this stock has to come down to give you profit. So hopefully it's clear. There is nothing which is uh, difficult in this. You just have to focus and that's it. Please let me know in the comments if you are really uh, liking these detailed videos so we can put more hard work in the videos and you will get more better content. Now let's learn something about the pricing components. So when we buy any option, we have to pay a price and that price is known as the premium, right? And the premium has two components. Basically, it is intrinsic value and another is time value. Okay, so let's understand these one by one for the call option and the put option, right? Pricing components. That is premium and premium has two components. What is that? Intrinsic value and time value. Don't get scared with these big words, intrinsic, extrinsic, time value. These are nothing but very, very real life examples. I'll just show you quickly. Okay. So let's first talk about the intrinsic value of the call option. So what we'll do, let me draw a line first. Let's say the current market price is 500 and you are bullish on this. So you'll buy an call option, right? And somehow what happened that you were able to buy the call option at 480. Correct. Now, what is happening here? You bought an call option. The current market price is 500 and you bought this call option at, at 480 means this money is known as the intrinsic value. If you excise this call option right now, immediately you will get the benefit of $20 and that will be known as the intrinsic value. So whenever the amount which is ITM in the money, that is known as the intrinsic value. So let's take another example. So let's say you are still bullish, but you bought this call option at this price at let's say 520, right? Now in this case, the intrinsic value is zero. I can write here IV is zero. Actually IV is for implied volatility. So I don't, uh, I, I will not make you confused. I'll just write uh, intrinsic value. So intrinsic value is zero here. So it will be only time value. So if I want to conclude this for the call option, what I can say in case of ITM for the call option, in case of ITM, right? The premium is equals to the intrinsic value plus the time value in case of ITM only, right? And in the call option, in case of OTM out of the money, the premium becomes because here intrinsic value is zero. So the premium is equal to only the time value as simple as that. Right. So you can say the intrinsic value is only when we have the item option. Right. Similarly, let's take the example for PE put option. So let's say this is the put option and this is the current price which is 500 and now you are bearish. So you will buy a put option and somehow you were able to buy the put option at 520. Right. And we know that this is the ITM in the money. Correct. So in this case, in ITM, the premium will equals to the intrinsic value, which is 20 plus the time value. 
and when we talk about the out of the money means when you buy the stock at 480 in that case the intrinsic value will be zero because there is no item amount and premium will equals to time value only right so that was a basic difference hope you are able to understand this concept clearly right okay so now let's understand the profit and loss charts for the call and put options okay so let's first understand about the call option okay so let's say the current price of the apple stock is 200 all right here current is 200 now if you buy a call option at 220 right at a premium of 20 dollars so now and let's say on expiry the price is 250 right so now let's understand the profit and loss of the buyer and seller so if you are the call option buyer right so immediately by default when you buy a call option you have the loss of 20 dollars in terms of premium right so you can write here right minus 20 then on expiry you have the price of 250 and you bought at 220 right means you have benefit of plus 30 right so overall after the 30 days expiration you have the benefit of 30 minus 20 which is plus 10 now in the same case what about the profit and loss of the option seller because whenever you buy an option somebody has to sell you right so for the option seller the by default benefit is plus 20 the price of premium right then for him also the expiration is 250 so he will be in loss of minus 30 and ultimately he will be in loss of negative 10 after the 30 days right so here how we can do the profit and loss chart for this uh, buyer so what you will do this x axis is the price so i can write here let's say 0 100 200 and this y axis is the profit and loss so when you buy the option at 220 right which is somewhat here right it is 220 uh, let me write here 220 so when you buy the option here so now until and unless this option reaches 220 you will be in loss correct of how much the premium amount which is minus 20 so i can write here minus 20 0 and plus 20 means until and unless you reaches this 220 you will be in loss of negative 20 right then and here we are considering one is to one means $1 increase in the underlying will give you a profit of $1 so then at 240 you will be at no loss no profit point right here you will be having zero means whatever you invested you will be having that zero profit zero loss then now is the profit starts right so it depends like if there is unlimited uh, hypothetically so as long as the price increases you will be having the benefits so there is so there is no limit on your profit uh, hypothetically here so this was the profit and loss chart for the uh, option buyer in case of call option right and for the option seller it will be exactly the opposite right hopefully it's clear and you can understand that right similarly when we talk about the put option so let me write here put option let's take the same values so the current market price is 200 and let's say you are able to buy this put option at 180 correct right? the premium amount is 20 dollars and after the expiry the price reaches 150 so now let's try to draw this chart so first of all we have to write the profit and loss so how we can do that first of all when you buy the put option by default the buyer is in the buyer is in loss of negative 20 but we know that on expiry it reaches 150 means 200 minus 150 will be a benefit of plus 50 and overall you will be in profit of plus 30 and similarly this will be the loss for the option seller right here is the case of put option now how we can draw this chart let me again draw so what i'll do i'll draw the chart like this so on x we have the prices and on the y axis we have the this is x this is y axis so on x we have prices uh, i can write like hundreds 
and 200 here it is negative 20 and here it is positive 20. Now we know that as long as the price is at or above the 180 he will be in loss of negative 20 because of the premium right. So for the buyer the loss is only premium. So I can draw like here this that as long as it is above 180 the price is he will be in loss and when the price reaches at 160 he will be at a situation of zero loss and zero profit so i can draw it like this zero loss and zero profit right at this point now how much the price decreases he will be benefiting from that so it depends on the price and he will be getting the maximum profit at when the price reaches zero and that is hypothetically impossible right so this is what the profit and loss chart for the put option buyer so for put option seller it will be the exactly opposite and you can draw that so please let me know in the comments if you are having any doubt and for the pdf of this uh, session you can find this on the telegram please attempt all the multiple choice questions and the task questions these will really help you a lot so this was it for this video i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day